If you're trying to lose weight, there could be quite a few things that get in the way of your progress. And one of the things that you don't think about very often is how a lack of sleep can actually mess things up for you. So we're gonna look at a few things today about why not getting enough sleep could really get in the way of you making good progress. The first one is what not sleeping enough does to your hormones. The hormone ghrelin is what makes you feel hungry. When ghrelin levels are elevated, hunger levels are elevated, so you're gonna feel inclined to eat more, and not sleeping enough will increase your ghrelin levels. The next thing that happens is it decreases your leptin levels. And what leptin is responsible for is helping you feel full and satiated. So that's a really bad one-two punch of one thing making you feel more hungry, and the other thing making you feel less full both happening at the same time, which can of course contribute to the de desire and urge to overeat. The next thing that happens is your cortisol levels are gonna go up. Cortisol being a stress hormone does a few things in your body. Three of the primary ones are one, it causes fluid retention. So as your body holds on to more water, it's gonna be holding on to more water weight. So even if you are losing body fat, you could see your weight on the scale stay the same. And that can be very demotivating and cause you to really fall off the wagon. The second thing that it does is increase your blood pressure. It also causes you to have poor memory consolidation and contributes to decreased mood states. So cortisol being elevated is not gonna be a good thing at all. And specifically for men, you tend to produce more testosterone at night when you're sleeping. So if you're not getting enough sleep or poor quality sleep, your ability to produce your maximum levels of natural testosterone are gonna be diminished. And so that's gonna to lead to poor recovery. It can also snowball into more poor sleep and of course, throw off your ability to burn fat and lose weight. The next thing holds true for men and women. If you're not sleeping enough, you're not gonna be recovering as well as you otherwise could be from your training. And for men, it's not just because of decreased testosterone. When you're sleeping, that's when your body is in that anabolic state, AKA you are recovering. You're rebuilding, you're regrowing tissue, and you're healing between intense workout sessions, which could lead you to question, how much do I really need to sleep every night? And that's gonna vary from person to person depending on how active you are and how intensely you're training. If you're somebody who's an elite athlete or just an ultra fitness fanatic, you're gonna need more sleep than the average person. It's recommended that people get on average seven to eight hours per night, but if you're one of those people who's training really, really hard, really, really frequently, you might need more like eight to 10, maybe even more than that. There's people who I know who are NFL players who will routinely sleep 10 to 11 hours per night when they're in their most intense two-a-days or in their uh, summer camps. So at this point, it should be pretty clear that if you're not sleeping enough or if you're getting poor quality sleep, you really are holding yourself back from the true progress that you could be making. So what can you do about it? What you really wanna consider is your sleep hygiene. And what sleep hygiene is, just kind of a fancy way of saying, the quality of your sleep and how well you're preparing yourself to get good quality sleep. And there's quite a few things that you can address in your day-to-day -day routine or more specifically your nighttime routine to help improve your sleep hygiene to get better quality sleep. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is avoid electronics and staring at blue screens before bed. So if you're somebody who likes to pull out your cell phone and just endlessly scroll, scroll, scroll until you fall asleep, you're probably gonna be messing up your ability to have a good night of sleep. Another thing that you can do to help get better quality sleep is try to decrease your body temperature before bed. So something like a cool shower before going to bed is something that can be great for this. Or even just upping the AC, turning your fan on, and laying on top of your sheets and just letting your body get a little bit chilly before finally bundling up and going to bed for the night. And the other thing you can do to naturally boost your ability to have a better night's sleep is to try to time your waking and sleeping cycles with the rising and setting of the sun. If you can do this, it's a great luxury to be able to have, but if not, at least try to be regular with when you go to bed and when you wake up. Because the more that you train your body to have a regular sleep cycle, the faster you're gonna be able to fall asleep. So the more hours you'll actually spend in your bed, not tossing and turning, but actually sleeping, recovering, making sure that your hormones are in a right level, and overall helping you steer yourself towards the best progress possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, we'll continue making more videos on different types of topics that could aid you in your fitness journey. Remember to give us thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and comment below if you have any questions or like us to help you out with anything else. As always, have a great day and we'll talk soon.